Hi there, this is Tech Radar Talks. My name is Patrick Goss, I'm the Global Edition Chief. With me is James Beckham, who is a writer for the mobiles and tablets section. Hi. Um, we're here today to talk about Oculus. Yeah. Um, there was some mini revelations at F8, which is Facebook's big conference, nothing particularly mind blowing. We did think they'd said it was definitely coming in 2015. What happened after that was kind of alluded to, James. Yeah, so uh, basically in the conference, it really was heavily handed, suggested that the uh, Oculus Rift would be coming to coming to homes by the end of the year, but then a couple of hours later, the same guy from the stage turned around on Twitter and said, sorry guys, if I've hinted at that, it's, I have actually no idea when it's gonna be released. But the way the way it was worded so kind of sounds like he just was told off a little bit behind the scenes, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, that's impossible to yeah. know, of course, but I mean, the, the, the thing is, we've heard several people suggest it might be 2015. Mm. We've had plenty of time with Oculus Rift. We know that there's a really good version around, you know, you've got, people at HTC making yeah. the, uh, the, the Vive. Vive and you've got you know Samsung's VR yeah. head kit doing and well VR and, and the next version yeah. coming so if they if they don't do it in 2015 they're probably yeah, going to face gonna miss the boat a bit. Yeah, so so it's kind of I don't think it's beyond the bounds to think that maybe all those guys insist that he doesn't know yeah that actually that is the case yeah no well it, as you say I think they're going to miss the boat if they don't do it by the end of the year or the first few months of next year so I think I th Personally, I think we will see it by the end of the year. So why, why do we care? What about Oculus? Yeah. Well, they were the first guys out the gate, weren't they, really? Out of consumer VR, anyway, uh, that you could actually have in your, in your home when they announced it and everything. Uh, Facebook taking it over is such an odd, it was such an odd move when you think they want, like, they're not a gaming company well, at all, I are mean, they? I they're mean, they're a big company with a lot of money and they're yeah. very keen on making sure they get the next big thing. How they're yeah. going to interweave social and VR, I think it's going to be And that's why it will be interesting. That's things. why that's why we should care, I think, I to mean, see how Facebook take it. From my probably. perspective, my first real um, chance to go on VR, uh, apart from mm. the old 80 stuff, because I'm quite old, was <laughs> was with the, the Oculus and Ephra. Yeah. I'd like to see them do well. Palmer Lucky seems like a really nice guy. Definitely. I'm really intrigued to see what happens. And, you know, I think it's, um, I think it's pretty exciting. And obviously, yeah. virtual reality as a whole is just one of the most vibrant, wonderful places to be in technology yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, it's one of the most interesting areas. Like we're, for MWC, we said the vibe was the best thing we saw there, basically, because it was just so interesting and so completely different. It, yeah, VR's the VR's the real, it's the real deal at the moment, isn't it? So 2015 or not 2015, we don't actually know yet, <laughs> but. Um, it's, all the hints seem to be pointing to a consumer release probably before Christmas to make sure we can all buy one. So yeah. uh, watch this space. Uh, you've been watching Tech Radar Talks. Uh, stay tuned for more.